today's video from Casio Help we're looking at tax rate programming on the SRS 500. In this video we're looking at the actual how to set the tax rates up. I've got a video showing you how to assign those tax rates to your departments and how to force the tax split to appear on your till receipt. Okay so we're going to set up tax 1 at 20% add in and tax 2 at 5% add in. First of all key round to PGM and then arrow down to tax setting and press CA amount 10. We've got three options here. To start with, we're going to look at the rates. So you simply press CA amount 10 and your rates will all be set to zero. This is the first time you've looked at it. So to set yours to 20 for tax rate one, you would simply type in two zero and then arrow down to tax two, which will probably say zero as well. And then all you do to set it to five, you press five. Once you've entered all your tax rates, you press subtotal and that brings you back to the main tax setting menu. There's a couple of other things we need to set. So if we go down to round for rounding and press cash amount tend, here in the UK you're better off, instead of having cut off, you want to choose round off. So you press cash amount ten there, arrow down, press cash amount tend and press cash amount 10 again so that all, they're all, all your tax rates are set to round off. This will become clear while I'm doing this when I show you the final receipt in a different video. When you've changed all those to round off you press subtotal and then you need to arrow down to cal type which is set to none as default. So if we change tax 1 by pressing CA amount 10 here it depends on how your business works if you have it add on it means your amount you're charging is excluding that. So if you typed in a pound, the till would add the tax on to that pound. So I'm going to set mine to be add in because I would have thought most businesses will have add in if they're dealing with private individuals. So this means the pound you charge is inclusive of any tax. So you choose add in by pressing cash amount 10, arrow down to your next tax rate cash amount 10 to go into it and again I'm choosing add in by pressing cash amount 10 when I've toggled to it. Once you've set your tax rates to the necessary add in or add on press subtotal and then press subtotal again to come back to the main PGM menu. On screen now will be appearing videos showing you how to force the tax to appear on the till receipt and that video will also show you what the split looks like on the till receipt so check that video out subscribe to the YouTube channel and you can also visit casiohealth.co.uk Thanks for watching.